Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I am going to be showing you some odds and ends that have come into my collection recently and just a little update on how I'm trying to manage the storage of everything because my shelf got really full. So um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Just a few random things that I have acquired in my collection that don't really make sense in a lot of the other videos. So let's get into it. All right, so first we are going to start out with some Funko Pops. There are two Funko Pops that have come out that are Polly Pocket themed, and this was the first. So this one is, of course, Polly. And I have a few of them, so I'm going to open this one up to show it to you. But uh, I am not a Funko Pop collector because <laughs> there's too many of them and it just seems like a slippery slope. Um, and I also, they kind of remind me of Beanie Babies in the sense that I feel like it's not something worth investing in. But anyway, my opinion aside, um, the Polly Pocket one has quite a cute box um, with this stylized Funko style Polly on the side. She's got her classic red headband and curly hair, the original sort of 1989 design. And uh, they've used that classic logo at the top and it's just kind of carried through with this art, which we've seen more recently in the last few years. This particular art was also used as part of the Hot Topic line that came out, I think around 2018 or so. So um, we've seen this art before, but they've reused it on this box. So it's pretty cute. So here's the figure. Um, let's see if we can pop this open. It's always so funny too, to see the packaging that has her uh, curls right in it, if you can see that, it's so cute. Um, a really cute figure. She has a joint and I don't think it moves. No, it doesn't, but she's got that joint that we're used to seeing in the Polly figures, of course. So I really like that detail. Um, really, really cute figure. And I'm actually, I think I might just keep her out on my shelf here. Now that I've got her out, this is really um, a nice little decoration for the studio down here, but um, I love that one. So that's the first one. The second one is um, a little bit more out there. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one, so I'm just going to let you be the judge. Um, this one is a compact that has been personified and um, I don't know, anthropomorphic maybe is the right word, but that's holding an even smaller Polly. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. This one's very strange, but again, they've used that same art and we'll just open this up and have a, a look at it. <laughs> it's very strange. This is just so weird. Um, <laughs> you know, I haven't really taken time to look at it before and it's really, really strange. Um, one thing I will say is it is kind of scuffed out of the box, which is too bad. Um, hasn't been opened before, but hey, there you have it. Um, wow, this is really bizarre. So it's just a much tinier version of that, except she's wearing a red dress in this one. Um, still shows all the way down to her joint, so they've got that detail there. I just don't know how I feel about a compact having arms and legs and eyes. Um, it's very strange. But if you look at the back, you'll see they included even the detail down to the clasp that we're so used to seeing on this channel now at this point. So, um, really cute. I kind of wish it opened up, but I'm probably asking too much from a Funko Pop for that. But this is kind of weird. Is this not weird? I find this kind of weird. Um, this one makes sense to me. I get this. This one, I, I don't totally get it. But I guess those are kind of the two things that people associate with Polly Pockets are the compacts themselves and then the Polly figure. So maybe that's why they went that way. But this is so strange. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on that one in the comments. Uh, 
will say it's kind of growing on me now that I've got it out. The logo is um, the same logo, of course. It's true to size though, if you were to compare it to a real Polly Pocket, which I just happen to have next to me. So let's go ahead and, <laughs> this was not planned, but ta-da. Um, honestly, it was not planned, but pretty close logo size. This one's just a little bit bigger and otherwise very similar. Um, that honestly was not planned. I didn't expect that I would just have this one next to me. I do have this here for a reason, but it was not that reason. So that's funny. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of these Funko Pops? I, again, I'm not a Funko Pop person, but um, of course I had to get the poly ones. Anything poly pocket, I pick it up. So vintage style, I should say. So I will go ahead and put those boxes just off to the side and we'll pull out the next random things I wanna show you. Okay, so uh, these were books that I found on Amazon. And when I say I found them, um, my friend Christy found them and then tipped me off. So I was able to pick them up. These are Polly Pocket annuals. I'm not fully sure what these are, to be honest. Um, they're quite strange. They're kind of like a storybook. They're really large. If you can see how big they are compared to my hand. They're very, very large. They would be quite tall on a bookshelf. But uh, all they say on the side is the Polly Pocket. This one says the Polly Pocket annual. It says it's copyright 1994. And if I open this up, you can see that it belonged to someone else and she's written her name in it. That's the only place that I was able to find writing. Um, it looks like it cost just under five pounds to purchase this. So I presume that this was, this particular book must have been sold in England, but it has a bunch of different stories and games in it. And I don't know if this is something that was common in the UK. Um, or if this was something that was also elsewhere. I don't recall anything like this in North America, but it's just filled with all sorts of stories and coloring pages, which fortunately have not been drawn in. So um, I can kind of enjoy them. Uh, really interesting long stories. Um, this is a, what's this called? Connect the dots. Lots of spot the differences games in here. Um, this is one where it's, you're copying the grid, the drawing off the grid to try to um, recreate it. I always find that a really interesting concept, but uh, that's the fun time clock. So that's a really cute detail. And um, I know that Christy had been hoping that when she got hers that it would have a better version of this. Um, this is one of the Polyville, also known as Tiny World in the UK, uh, posters, um, specifically of one of the supersets. And this appears to be the superset that I had as a kid. Just looking at it, it looks like that's all the sets that I had <laughs> uh, together. So we've seen now almost all of these on the channel. I have yet to show you the pet shop, I believe. Although now that I say that, I'm questioning myself. Maybe I have shown you the pet shop. I did, I, sh I showed it to you in a variant video, I think. But um, yeah, we've seen all of those, I think. <laughs> um, another game in here, which is cute that they've got a game. More stories. And yeah, that's it. So this one's uh, fortunately in really good condition, um, but that was one of the books. Then I came across another one. So again, this one said 1994 on it. Then I came across another one, um, also on Amazon. And this one says annual 1994. It has a slightly different publisher. Um, so this one is also <laughs> drawn in. Uh, but this one says published in Great Britain, Britain by World International Publishing. And I think this one was published by 
Grand Dreams Limited. So slightly different publisher. I don't know if they actually came out the same year or were one after the other. Very similar concept. This one is um, a little bit more brightly colored than the other one. But the idea is that, again, there are some stories, some games in here. A lot of them, again, are... Um, this one's a crossword, not crossword, word search is what we call them here in North America, at least. It says word square there. Um, again, other interesting games. And they're really incorporating all of the characters from the Poly series. So they actually have characters like Lulu and Midge and uh, everyone kind of incorporated into this. This is another kind of spot the difference type game activity. Yeah, this is really funny because they're referring to um, to one of the boys here as Wee Willie, which uh, I always found was a really funny name. This is a Spot the Difference based on the Suki's Japanese Tea House Compact, which is quite cute. Midge's Flower Shop. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Weekend in Paris with Fifi. So these are all based on the compacts that were out at the time. Nancy's Wedding Day, right? She, there's the Wedding Compact. This is really interesting. There's Fifi with her dogs again. Polly's Dream World. If you recall that big set that I showed you with the mansion and it had all the little different areas, it was a big circular play set. There it is with the bridge, the animals, the big house, the playground. This is really cool actually that they've, they've gone through and they've put this in here um, based on the compacts. Some of the other princesses that we see in some of the princess themed sets. This is really interesting. Um, I will say of the two, this one appears to be my favorite. Um, another game, Jewels, Starlight Castle, there we go. And um, Midge's Animal World. Now that's not anything that I can really think of in terms of a compact, but we do have, of course, the pet shop. A Christmas one. There are a number of Christmas compacts, especially ones that involve sleighs. And that's the end of that book. So um, really neat books. This one's not in as nice condition on the outside. It's quite dented on the corners, but I can't really complain. These old children's storybooks, of course, um, typically are well loved. So um, I'm just glad that the pages aren't completely scribbled all over. So uh, the last thing I wanted to update you on for today was um, something that I got in for my collection. I've been struggling a lot with how to organize my compacts and I was having them basically open on my shelf like this and I've started to run out of space. So I wanted to find a way to store them closed but still appreciate the beauty of them. So I went on to um, AliExpress, you know, just one of those cheap websites, <laughs> and I purchased this. So bear with me. Well, hopefully I don't knock this all over, but um, this is effectively uh, just a little acrylic stand that is designed for storing cosmetics. Um, typically, uh, when you look for them online, you're looking for something like nail polish storage rack. Um, so if you were to go to a nail salon, for example, they would have all of the nail polishes organized in this. It's That's the purpose, but uh, it works really well for these compacts. So here's what it looks like from the side. Maybe I'll just take some of these out to show it to you properly, but it's quite helpful in saving me some space. So I'm going to have to rework the shelves on my cabinet, but I can effectively get three rows of three wide in each of these. 
and I think I can fit probably about six of them into my cabinet altogether, the, where, where I'm trying to put them at least. And it will save me some space so that I can get most of my collection back into my cabinets because uh, unfortunately I ran out of room, which is um, probably a sign that I've gone too far, but here we are. So um, I think these cost me, oh gosh, I can't remember. I would want to say that they were probably about $10 each, but uh, they're really, they're not fancy or anything, but they're just really helpful. And I like that they're clear so you can really just get everything stored, but you're not losing out on the beauty of the compact when you're doing that. So this is my project now is to get this all sorted out um, and try to get this all put together back in. Now I'm trying to decide, was this one meant to be this one? Or was it meant to be this one? I think it was most definitely meant to be this one. Yeah, so um, that's where I'm currently going with this. So if I can tilt this, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Here we go, here we go. Uh, that's what it's gonna look like in my shelving unit. So really looking forward to getting that all tidied up and rearranged, but that way I can keep everything in the rainbow order that I have come to love and appreciate looking at my cabinet, but still have it organized um, and space, space efficient. So that is my current solution. And um, that's really all that I had today in terms of an update. I'm still waiting on this huge lot from Germany to arrive and so far, we're going on quite a few weeks. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. It's just been sitting in the mail. And I really, really hope that it will get some update on the tracking number soon um, because it left Germany back in February. So uh, fingers crossed because there's so much good stuff in that lot and I can't wait to share it with you. So <laughs> hopefully it comes in soon. Um, but that's it for today's update. Let me know what your favorite thing that I showed you today was. I think I'm gonna go ahead and confidently say mine is the this particular annual. I found the page is quite colorful and interesting, but I also like how it really tied into the compacts and that's cute. And as you know, the just flower shop is one that is very near and dear to my heart. So having a little story about that in there, I'm gonna have to read it. Um, I just think that's really awesome. So that's it for today, but just wanted to give you that update. All right, so these these books are so cool. So um, thank you again to Christy for letting me know that these were even a thing to look for. Um, definitely check these out if you can find one. Um, they were quite inexpensive. They, they were probably, I want to say about $20, but, um, you know, in the scheme of Polly Pocket stuff that's a little bit more um, random or rare, I think that's a great price. And they're really in pretty good condition, all things considered. So really happy to have these. Um, and I look forward to kind of digging into them a bit more. Um, I didn't read anything out to you just because I'm not sure how... <laughs> The legality around all of that stuff works so uh but you got to see them so um these are really 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 great but I think of all the things that I showed you today this is probably my favorite I just think it's so cool and I can't wait to check it out in more detail also um yeah just love to hear your thoughts on these uh, I this one's cute I'm, I'm here for this one this one <laughs> it's so weird it's so strange. It's just, it's a really out there concept. Um, at no point did I think, gee, you know, it would make these play sets better if we put a face and arms and legs on them. And um, I'm probably dating myself saying this, but um, do you remember that 7-Up mascot, Spot? Do you remember that? I think Spot was its name. That's what this reminds me of. Um, Maybe I'll just pop a picture of that here into the video for you. That's what that reminds me of. It's just really weird. 
So um, yeah, would love to hear your thoughts on that. But uh, this is this is now uh, probably one of my favorite things. I I love this. And again, I'm not a Funko Pop person, but this one's had to have it. So um, aside from that, yeah, not not a lot going on right now. I'm waiting for some more stuff in the mail. I do have obviously quite a bit more that I haven't shown you yet that I can show you, um, including some things that were on that rack that I showed you that you have not seen yet. So um, there's lots of things that I still have to show you, but I'm really anxiously awaiting that delivery. Um, so for those of you that uh, may not be familiar with uh, the channel or haven't watched all of my videos, I'm in Canada and uh, I ordered this huge lot off of eBay in Germany and uh, had to <laughs> have it shipped basically to a proxy and then to me. Um, so it left Germany February 9th per the DHL tracking number, but Right now, they are shipping over ocean freight to Canada, which takes a really long time. So as I'm filming this, it's been six weeks and it might be a few more. Um, the last one that I got from Germany, which was about a year ago, if you saw my video on a big haul I did where I got 35 piece lot, that was all one lot. This one's going to be fairly similar to that in terms of the scale of it. Uh, but that one took also about six weeks. So I'm anticipating right now, just with all of the delays and everything that's going on in the world, it's probably going to be closer to eight, unfortunately. Um, I was on vacation last week, which I'm sorry if I missed some of you on the premiere. Um, I slept through one of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my... my hope was that it was going to show up while I was away. It did not. Um, so we're still waiting for it, but as soon as it hits Canada and gets scanned and back into the tracking system, I can't wait. I can't wait. I am so excited to show you that lot. So fingers crossed that that will happen soon. Send good vibes to that ship. Um, and I think I can actually go look up the schedule of that. So I'm going to anxiously do that after I finish filming this, but that's really it for my update right now. So um, again, as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to draw that anniversary giveaway. So please share the channel around um, with other people in your lives, but also anyone that you think would be interested in Polly Pocket stuff. Um, really excited for this year and just what uh, we will bring with the channel this year and the community that we've developed. And also I'm looking forward to a lot of the new stuff that's going to be coming out this year. So um, I think some of the videos I'll do over the next few weeks, I'm going to talk about some of the new Polly Pocket things that are coming out, but not in the sense of new Polly Pocket, but the new vintage Polly Pocket stuff that's coming out because there are some more additions to the Keepsake collection coming this year. There's also a movie in the works. There's <laughs> so much going on. But um, I think that's it for me uh, for today. So um, again, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button. It really does help the channel so much. Um, and share the channel with anyone that you think might enjoy it. Also, if you're on social media, you can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys and you will find me. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.